Let us take a look at the first approach of converting an RDD into a data frame. The Scala interface for Spark SQL supports automatically converting an RDD containing case classes to a data frame. The case class defines the schema of the table. The name of the arguments to the case class are read using reflection and become the names of the columns. Case classes can also be nested or can contain complex types such as SEQs or arrays. This RDD can be implicitly converted to a data frame and then can be registered as a view. Views can be used in subsequent SQL statements. Let us try to convert the text data into a data frame. This text file people.txt is having values comma separated. This code is available inside our GitHub repository at cloudxlab slash big data. Navigate to the folder spark slash examples slash data frames and open the file rdd underscore 2 underscore df dot scala as shown in the image. Let me walk you through the code. Let us open Spark Shell with Spark version 2 onwards. On Spark Shell, let's first import the Spark implicits. Let us create a case class person. It has two variables, name and age. We will basically create objects of this class for each line of the text file. Later, the variable names will become the names of the columns of the data frame. Now, let's create text RDD using text file function on Spark context. This would create an RDD with the name text RDD having each line from the file as the record. To understand what is inside RDD, you can use take function on text RDD. Now, let's convert each line of the text into an array of strings by splitting on the basis of comma. This can be easily accomplished using map transformation split function. The resulting RDD would have array having two strings in each record. Next, we convert each record having array of two strings into an object of person case class. Again, we are using map transformation to transform each record into an instance of person class. Finally, this RDD having objects of person class as records can be easily converted into a data frame using a function called 2df on the RDD. In the code, peopleDF is the data frame on which we can operate further. We can take a look into this data frame using show function. You can see the Spark has inferred the column names automatically from the objects. This is done using reflections ability of Java. Using reflections, a Java class can discover the attributes and functions of another object. Once we have created the data frame from our unstructured data using the reflection technique over RDD, we can run the data frame operations as usual. We can register it as temporary view and on this temporary view, we can run SQL query as usual using SQL function of Spark context. Here, the SQL query is resulting in teenager df which is a data frame having people whose age is between 13 and 19. Also, 
Note that we can run the usual map transformations on data frame. These map transformations result in another data frame. The function that you provide to map transformation would get a row object as argument from org.apache.spark.sql package. Earlier, we were referring a column of the row by the index 0. We can also refer to it by the name as shown in the code. Here, we are passing the name of the column as argument and the data type of the returned value in square brackets. If you want to retrieve multiple columns of a row at once into a map, having key as the name of the column and value as the value. You can use get values map function. It would basically convert a row object into the map. We need to define a map encoder first. This map encoder which we are defining is implicit and it is going to be used implicitly while transforming each row of data frame into the values map. You can see that it has printed the data correctly from teenager df. Since there is only one row in the data frame, the resulting array just has one element. 